Welcome everyone, special welcome back to my subscribers, all you new viewers, hopefully you'll become subscribers after seeing this awesome meal. This one's a quick one, uh, and I like it because it's all in one pot. Dutch oven, one and a half pounds, this is fingerling potatoes, but use whatever potatoes you like. Uh, in addition to that, that's one and a half pounds. I have one lemon, and I'm just uh, cutting this up into slices. I'm laying this about, you'll understand in a minute. So one pound or one and a half pounds of fingerlings, one lineman, one pound of baby carrots, one red onion, rough chop, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is rosemary, fresh rosemary that I just bought from the store. If you have the plant, use that instead. Uh, and I'm just gonna lay a couple sprigs across. We'll pull those out before we serve. The idea is to get this so that it covers all of our star chicken. These are chicken thighs. Um, I'm just going to dump those straight in without the meat. Okay, we'll spread those around. And uh, once I get these all placed, we'll come back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up a little bit, got the chicken laid out. This is minced garlic. Uh, one tablespoon, and I'm just going to uh, kind of spread this around. It doesn't really matter because we're going to put some liquid on here to help keep the chicken moist. Okay. Of course, black pepper. If I had to measure this, as you can see, I'm not. I'd say that's maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, but just enough to dust it. This is kosher salt, same idea. And this is probably a full quarter of salt, teaspoon that is. And this is about 16 ounces of chicken stock. And again, this is just to keep this moist. And it helped spread around everything that I just Put it in there. Okay, that's it. Oven set at 375. I'm gonna cook this for an hour and a half. So our chicken, potatoes, and carrots, the one pot meal that we've been working on has been sitting in here baking at 375 for about an hour and 40 minutes. We're gonna check it out now, see how it looks. Lid has been on. And remember we had some, some moisture in there by putting chicken stock in. And you can see the chicken's thoroughly cooked, but it's kind of white and I want a little color to that. I'm going to slide it back in, close it up, and I'm going to put it on broil. Now you've got to be careful when you do this. I've got it broiling on high, so you've got to keep an eye on it. It's going to be five to ten minutes. I just want to get a little bit of color on the top of that chicken, and then we'll be ready to serve it up. Uh, there's a little bit nicer color to it. And this is really all there is to it. You can see that the meat has nicely darkened up now. Let's see what we got going on down in this lovely pot of goodies. You can see the potatoes are nice and cooked through. Carrots are tender, potatoes are tender, and our chicken's even tender to the point that I can push that apart. That's exactly what we're looking for in the texture. And it's a one pot meal through and through. Delicious. So we're gonna hit it with just a pinch of salt and then just another pinch of black pepper. And that is really all there is to it for a one pot chicken and potato carrots. That's all it is. It's nice, easy cooked meal, very easy to prepare, uh, and relatively inexpensive. Give this a, a test, give it a run. Uh, let me know what you think. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like. Give me those comments below, and check back for the next video. Take care.